Hey there, this is Mark. In this video, we'll take a look and see how we tint a character to its environment. This particular scene is a night scene. Therefore, I want to make sure this character, which is currently in day colors, looks like it fits the environment for a night scene. Later on, we'll also see how to make it interactive so she steps into the light. But first, let's make sure she gets darkened in these blue areas. So I'm going to scrub back here in my timeline until I get to about frame 10. And let's zoom in here. First thing I want to do is always bitmap comp my character so that any separation between the limbs don't uh, see through to one another. So I'll add a bitmap composite by hitting Control H on my keyboard. And let's wire this character down here. Next I'm going to add a color scale because that's what I'm going to use to darken the character. And I'll wire this down. Now I can remove this wire because I want to go through here instead. And so we have the girl going through a flattening bitmap composite and a color scale underneath. In order to not clutter up my node view, what I want to do next is group these together and I'll work inside the group. So select these two nodes and then Control G to group or Command G on a Mac. Next I'll just rename this to Treatment. Now let's go inside the group by hitting the rightmost arrow and we have the exact same thing we had on the outside. Let's render that and you can see that nothing has changed because we haven't changed any values in our color scale module. So let's do that now. Click the layer properties and let's see what we have to work with. So the first thing you want to see is if the character is in a dark bluish area then we want to retain the blue information but drop it in the red and the greens. So you could drop it to say a 0.9 here and a 0.8 on the green. And I might actually want to go darker so I'll go and keep this 0.8 on the reds and 0.7 on the green. And that feels pretty nice, pretty dark blue and it's going to go into the reds. Uh, and I'll lower this value down a bit as well so that it's not as bright to say another 0.8. So you can see that just by lowering other values we retain more blue information which is what this character is starting to look like. And we want less green because there is more red predominantly in the background. Last thing is we want to change that value down since it's a darker area and we want to get further away from the natural bright colors. You could also play with the hues and your saturation if you wanted to, but I find that this is a very good start for our night scene. Next what I actually want to do is pop these eyes back out so that we can visibly see her eyes more in the dark. This is a stylistic preference. Some people like it, some don't. Uh, so it's a choice you can make. So let's go and choose a filter section in our node library. And we're going to pick something called the color selector. Now if you don't have a color selector from previous version, you could always use the color override and isolate these by clicking the layer properties and choosing render selected only and then just dragging these colors in. But we're going to use in this example a color selector which just allows us to pick those colors. So I can just wire back down from the same strand because that's the character. And I'll wire down to this right side which allows me to use the integrated matte port of the color scale to isolate. So I'm basically saying I want the color scale to darken the entire character except using these colors. Now it's kind of the opposite so we want to reverse that with double clicking this icon or we can check the layer properties and click the invert matte. So you can see this icon just changed which is what happens. If you want to change it easily simply double click the icon and you'll switch between regular matte and inverted. Next what we want to say is we want you to take all of the colors here but wherever these colors are showing don't change the color. So I'm going to click on the layer properties and over here I'm going to hit down the little plus. So this gives me access to all the palettes and I know that I'm working with girl and there seems to be a girl outline only palette as well. So we're, we're going to need colors from both of these. Uh, so the first one I'm going to choose is girl and let's see go down to the eye whites. You can see the eye whites have been selected and next I want to retain that blue iris. So I'll click here and go to girl iris. 
So basically that keeps that eye looking bright in the darkness. And uh, just to be sure, let's go in the girl outline here and pick the eye highlights as well. Uh, but I don't think that we need to change any of this. This looks fine. So essentially what we've done is we said color the character this darker color except whatever I plug in here. If we didn't have anything plugged in there, the entire color would take over. But since we have this isolated eyes, uh, we have the matte pulling it away from the color scale so only the rest of the character is getting highlighted.